Yeah. Y'all always make us go after Coach Brown. It's always harder. But uh, really excited about offensively. We uh, we had a meeting yesterday and talked about where we thought we could come as an offense. And I think our guys took that to heart today, did a real good job of competing. We've got more depth than we've had in a long time. We're excited about it. I think we're starting to learn how to stack good days on top of good days. We've got to continue to do that. But this is the first time in a while we've had as much depth as we've got at each position. Uh, I think we've got eight or nine offensive linemen rotating in there. Uh, getting a lot of experience, and so that's always good. You know, we've got a center that's going to be our second year starting for us. Deontay Crumney, he's done a really nice job. Um, we've out actually found a couple of guys to help us on the left side at tackle, and uh, Stephen Rousey and Kurt Kelly, they've done a really nice job. And Boring, they've all kind of rotated on that left side. And on the right side, you heard Coach talk about it. We've got Tristan Crowder. Uh, James Peach, J.L. Gadsden, and we're just kind of rotating all those guys around. And then Bradshaw's also helped us at, at center. So we feel like we've got as much depth as we've had in a long time, and that's really where you win football games inside. Um, our, our starting quarterback, of course, is back. We're excited about it. He has really had a great fall camp, and I think that's due to the fact that he's been here a while, he's matured, but also the fact that the two guys behind him, you heard Coach talk about it, man, they have just made such great strides. We feel like we can win with all three of those guys, and that's a good problem to have. And uh, I think they're excited about it because they're getting lots of reps at practice. Um, wide receiver wise, man, it's exciting because we feel like we're pretty much three deep all the way across the board with a couple other guys. So a lot of guys making plays. Uh, coach went into all that. You know, we've got our seniors there. Manuel Thompson has done a really good job. John Johnson's had a great fall camp. Uh, really excited to see him make a lot of plays. I think the last scrimmage we had, he had two or three touchdowns. So he's done really good. He talked about the other side with DeAndre Douglas and Willis. Uh, I coach the inside guys. I'm excited about them. I think we've got some work to do. But Clark Quisenberry is another senior that's done a really good job coming back, uh, transitioning from outside receiver and playing some tight end along with Sam Letton. And then Tavares McCormick and Sidney Davis have helped us a bunch at the other position. Both have a ton of experience. A uh, couple guys inside that I'm going to mention that have really showed up some, kind of being utility guys, is Richard Hallman and Dom Walker. Both those guys have kind of waited their turn and, and just making plays when they get opportunities is exciting. Uh, running back, got some guys he told you that were kind of holding out of some stuff, but Josh Anderson has done a great job of just being a senior leader and taking on that load, and he's a load to tackle. I'm excited to watch him this fall. Uh, with that, I'll leave any questions. You, um, you as an offensive coordinator, how nice is it to know that you guys can, you know, either get a, you know, a shot deep, or you guys can uh, break a big run. How nice is it to have that? Deep? It's really nice. It really is nice. And, and the thing that's really good, uh, Coach Summerall talks about this a lot. We talk about it. We have a lot of different skill sets. You know, so we have different guys playing different, the same position that have different skill sets, so you can use that. Take, for instance, you've got big backs in Jordan, and you've got a um, – Josh, but then you turn around and Fry gets hidden in behind there, and BJ Smith get hidden in behind there, and then they hit it through a big game. So that's really exciting when you got those different skill sets. I'm excited to see where we can kind of fit them all together. How nervous should Jarrell Jernigan be over his single season catch record since Mike Young came to the four of last year? I don't know. Uh, the difference is, is uh, there's a lot of receivers to pass the ball around to. So I don't know. We'll probably try to distribute around a bunch, but you never know. Well, he's actually playing safety. Yeah, he's working at safety. He's He's been a guy that's done a great job. He's played running back. He's played receiver. Now he's over there playing safety. Uh, I think that says a lot for your program when you got guys that are that athletic that can play lots of different positions. Coach, having Ish back for this year, you know, after an injury last year, what does that bring to his receiving board? Well, it brings that depth. You know, there's he, he's battling on the outside. He's worked both spots. Uh, I think he's got a lot of work to do, just like everybody in competing. But uh, he's showing signs of being able to make some plays for us this year. I think we talked about Coach Brown as well. Damian Willis, what, what did you see out of him today? He had, he had an impressive performance. What have you seen through his throw? Well, I think y'all saw the same thing I saw. When the ball's up in the air, he goes and gets it. And he's a really fast guy. you know. But the thing that he's done that's even better, Coach, Coach went into it, is he has studied hard. He really has since he's been here. He's, he's been on the film. He works extra on his own. Uh, there's a lot of times when he's been out there catching balls on his own, and I think he's just learning what we're doing offensively, and he's just growing. Plus, if he doesn't do very good, he's got DeAndre Douglas and Ish right there competing with him. So all three of those guys are battling really good. Coach says that Boise State's basically a defensive-minded team. They're going to come out there hard. How do you prepare your guys to go against 
Well, we feel like we've got a chance to be pretty good offensively, too. Um, I think the thing that they do is they try to disguise a lot of what they do. And I think we get to see that every day in practice. I don't know if you're very familiar, but our defense can run about everything they want them to run. So if we need them to give us one look, they give it to us. And they're really all over the place. And so it really helps us a lot in preparing because we've seen a lot of different looks this fall camp. Well, that's what we talked about. We talked about meeting expectations. Our whole program's in that. You know, offensively, I think we were pretty good last year. I think we got better as the year went on. I'm really excited to see if we can take it to the next step and we be one of the top offenses in the country. In, the, in respect to um, the way the two quarterbacks have, have come along, and Smith and, um, and um, Caleb, uh, both of them can run real well. Does that mean we might run some options? Yeah, we, we have that in our package. We did a little bit of that last year. Uh, we'll continue to carry that on. Um, actually, all three of those guys can run good enough. They look a little faster than Brandon because he's bigger, but all three of them do a real good job of handling that, and that is part of our package. It is, for sure. They're way faster than Corey Robinson was. <laughs> Coach mentioned that Brandon went from being a popular guy to being a respected guy. What is the significance of that? Well, I think his off-season habits, I mean, People don't realize it, but he works every single day at his craft. I mean, for the past three years, every single off season, those quarterbacks are out there, and especially Brandon, they're doing individual drills on their own. I mean, they're taking the guys out there and throwing on their own. He has just spent a lot of time of just developing his craft, I and mean, you can really tell the difference now. And the leadership, some of our old guys, our, our presenting has been really good. Um, you know, we've got to get guys like Cam Melton came through today, had a – had a big pick down there, and the leadership he's shown has been tremendous. That's that's been a big emphasis. Uh, we we do want to build depth on our front, and we do uh, we do you know got to establish a new linebacker core. We graduated all those guys, as you know, uh, but uh, we we we're a lot faster uh, in the back seven for sure, and uh, we may be faster in the front. So. We're trying to make sure that we have a pitch count with a lot of our guys. We we don't want them to play in. Uh, so many plays, and in the fourth quarter, they they can't do what they got to do. That ha that's happened too many times the last two years. Um, you know, Coach Brown's talked about the expectations and rising up to the expectations. I know that Sam Levy sitting right here and Smiley right here. They'll remember two years ago uh, when I got here and and we started we started going. The expectations aren't any different now than what they were uh, two years ago. Uh, every single day, today's scrimmage, I'm, I'm not real happy we're going to watch the film. I'm sure we made a lot of progress, but uh, it just so happens early this morning they had a 30 for 30 on and they had the 85 Bears on there. And if another team like got a first down, they were like upset. So defensively, we've got to have that same mentality. We're going to challenge for every yard, every first down, Every point, every everything, and unless we're unless we're successful, then we need to be playing with the chip on our shoulder. And uh, you know, I know that's that's the way it needs to be. We need to challenge every player, every play, and uh, and go from there. So that I'll take questions. Yeah, how much uh, did your uh, the back end of the defense improve last year, and what's your next step this year? Well, the two ways of looking at it now. Um, not to quote what I read on some deal where we got a lot of picks, but we wait, we really gave up too many yards. And some of those yards, and if you really look at the, the stats, a lot of those were in the second half and some games when we were you know, a good bit ahead and we were playing some down the line guys. But that's kind of the deal is we have to get our down the line guys up to speed so there's not a drop off. And um, we, we have got to, make a lot of improvement from last year. And you know what, the big picture we have, our guys will tell you right now that we're preparing against Georgia Southern, Boise, New Mexico State, LSU. So every, every day they're seeing a new package and uh, we're banking reps right now in camp. We're getting ready for the whole season. And uh, you know, sometimes that's getting confusing to some of the new guys and so we make mistakes. We made plenty out here today but uh, you know hopefully in, in the grand scheme of things we'll learn from it and, and get better. Coach, you're talking about the linebacking core and some of the new guys stepping in there. What do you 
seen from Hunter Reese and kind of his growth from last year to where he's at? Well, you know, Hunter, um, I think Hunter came here. I think he was, he's back there, and he's probably going to laugh about it. When I first got here, he was the safety, and he, and, uh, he goes to the safety room. And I go, no, 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 no. So we sent him over to the linebacker room, and he's over there for a little bit. Well, we needed, we didn't have very many bandits, you know, our, our hybrid pass rush guy. So Hunter goes over there. So he's been a little bit of a ping pong, and to his credit, he's never really said much. Uh, but I know he's probably, he's want, probably wanted to be somewhere where he could stick. And I think the bandit position is really good for him because uh, he is kind of that hybrid. And, you know, it's a credit to, to Hunter as well as just doing things right. You know, what our guys, and we're constantly trying to show our guys, if you'll just do what the scheme says and you'll play the correct leverage and the eyes in the right spot, right alignment, right steps, then the, then the defense will make plays for you. And uh, Hunter does that. So that's one of the reasons Hunter's so successful. You brought up how Cam has become a leader, much bigger leader in this locker room. What, how, what have you seen differently from last year to this year? Well, you know, Cam has, has had a little strain here for the last, I don't know, a week or a week and a half. And uh, the job he's done out on the field coaching the young guys, coaching Marcus and, and coaching Dunlap, you know, every time I get ready to say something, Cam's got them before I could get there or Coach Poe could, got, could get there, and he's coaching them up. He knows what, what the position needs to do. Uh, you know, he's just done a really good job of taking those young guys un, under his wing, and, and, that's, you know, and that's a matter of maturity, and it just goes to show what kind of person he is. Well, you know, Sam, like Hunter, has been kind of put from one position to another position to another position. And uh, I know he came here as a linebacker from D.C. And um, he's kind of a prototypical Mike linebacker. Uh, he probably runs better than a lot of them, his size. Uh, but, you know, we were trying to establish that bandit position as – uh, as a position of fear for the other team. So he was, you know, him being able to pass rush and drop. So we have used him there. And then we got in the bowl game uh, last year and, and, and Junior was ineligible. So we moved Doc and then moved him back. And so, you know, uh, he's kind of had to do a lot of everything. And I think now he will probably tell you that the fact that he knows how to rush a passer is helping him at Mike Linebacker because we do blitz our linebackers a good bit. I think one of the most iconic Boise State plays was like that Statue of Liberty play against Oklahoma in the Fiesta Bowl. Yeah, I saw that. Now, you don't look like you're old enough to remember that, to be honest. <laughs> Everything on YouTube these days. Okay. Um, how do you keep you guys honest against maybe like a possibly a huge trick play? Uh, you know what? You, you got to play your rules. You know, our guys will sit there and tell you we didn't do a good job today. Any, every time there's a sprint out, we have the backside guys responsible for the throwback. You know, we, but you have to execute. And uh, obviously, you know, if you lose concentration or you don't do what you've been drilled to do uh, and schematically, they're going to get you. The thing, Boise is really good at running the football. And, um, you know, they, they are a formation team that if you just don't, if you don't line up right and you don't have, everybody's got a gap. And uh, then they start running the power, and they're able to run the football on you. You're not going to have much chance of stopping them. So uh, we're going we're gonna to have to do our level best to, to line up and play. They, they play with a lot of tight ends, which is different uh, for us. And we're going to have to be able to line up to a tight end-oriented offense that we really haven't had that much of. I don't know yet. It depends on what day they want to play. And it's a matter of attitude. Um, and you know this as well as I do. It's, it's this muscle that's as important as any muscle in your body. So if you've got the desire and you've got the want to, I know our strength coaches have done a great job getting our guys stronger. Uh, we're definitely a stronger team and we're stronger up front. And we've got our we've got our fair share of 300 pound guys up there, or 280 pound guys. But it's it's if they want to play with leverage and they want to play with with this, 
then that'll make a bigger difference. Coach, two of your top guys in the secondary weren't even secondary players when they got here, Blaze Brown and Jalen Harris. How they help some of those other guys that are moving over, such as like Andre Flakes and uh, Darius Weston? Well, I was hoping they'd be able to read the routes of what the receivers are going to do. Um, now, I think Blaze does that probably too many times. He's kind of a river riverboat gambler a little bit. He'll take chances and. Um, but, uh, you yeah, know, those guys have progressed a lot. Coach Pogue's done a wonderful job of, of keeping them heading the right direction. And both, they're, they're so different personality-wise, those two guys. They're like polar opposites. Uh, and he, Coach Pogue's done a really good job of just getting them where they need to be. Jalen's had a really good camp, and Blaze has really been a competitive soul over there. Uh, you know, and it helps when you're going against really good receivers every day. And, um, you know, it's hopefully steel sharp and steel, and, and we're getting to that. That's kind of what I wanted to ask you. How, how does it help, especially a defense that has some holes to fill, going against a, a really veteran offense that, that can hurt your run the ball? Yeah, Silver's isn't any fun to go against every day, no, no question about that. Um, you know, we'll be covering a guy, and we'll be under and over, and he'll throw a grenade shot in there like, Come on, man. And uh, but you know, sometimes you, as a coach, you know, again, again, being super competitive and having that, like, like we talk, like I talked about the '85 Bears, they don't want to give up a yard. And having that competitiveness is what we want to have. Uh, but you got to understand the team thing. Through like today, for example, it wasn't as much about winning; it's about guys getting better. And so we're going to be able to coach a lot of things. And hopefully we'll take the next step in our progression. Um, I honestly don't know who won, lost, any of that other stuff today. I do know for guys played hard and did the right thing, um, and we tackled. It was a good opportunity to practice tackling. Then, then that makes it a win for us.